probably one of the most iconic representations of a deployed Army medical unit is a television program that ran from the early 1970s to the early 1980s called MASH. MASH is actually an acronym for Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. So many of these military medical dramatizations are at times both more emotional and more action-packed than the real experience. This is obviously necessary to stir up public interest, and by doing so, keep up television rates. However, because of these dramatic flourishes, many people get an understandably skewed view of what the life of the Army medical personnel is really like. MASH was intended to be a representation of a mobile Army surgical hospital during the Korean War. The show was aired during and following the Vietnam War, however, so many of the situations that came up were used to express public opinion and ideas related to that war. The question then is, how is a medical military personnel deployed life different from the movies or television? Having served in a military medical unit in one form or another for almost 20 years, I can say that it differs greatly. For instance, while there is a certain element of fun and sportsmanship to help raise esprit de corps, everything is carefully organized and does not venture into the types of extremes that are seen in the televised shows. Unlike this picture of Corporal Klinger, in military medical units there are never any men running around in dresses. In fact, Military members are not allowed to wear civilian clothing while on deployment, so Hawkeye's frequent use of the bathrobe would also be a no-no. Types of fun activities that are typically organized during deployments, oddly enough, are runs. During deployments, we run for everything. We have Christmas runs, Army birthday runs, Mardi Gras runs, Valentine's Day runs, and even New Year's Eve midnight runs. There is always a run going on to commemorate something. The American Red Cross's birthday, all the individual units that are there, holidays, and everything else you can think of. The run shown is part of a mid-deployment party that is celebrating its halfway point. Another difference between television and reality is that there is no alcoholic drinking allowed while deployed. The military medical personnel's life during deployment is often very boring, monotonous. That is actually well represented in MASH if you are paying attention to the dialogue. They often talk about drinking to escape the monotony. However, the show relies on regular action and frequently injects clashes with the enemy. But in real medical units, those events tend to be the exception. More commonly, deployments consist of days and days of working at the same job in the same place, with the same people, seldom taking time off, mostly because there's nothing to do on days off anyway. Everyone eats at the same place, three times a day, seven days a week, where the food is always the same. Time off is usually spent working out, watching movies, taking class if they're available, reading and doing a three to four run. Mass shows all kinds of socializing between the locals and the, and the medical personnel. They even show several personal relationships between the soldiers and the locals. But in reality, there is almost no interaction outside of the job with the local population. Access to the, to the troops is strictly controlled, and most soldiers do not leave the military installations. As you can see, there are many differences between the television shows and the real Army medical soldiers' deployed life. 